America's obesity epidemic and the story of a pioneering surgeon in Louisiana, which has the third highest obesity rate in the country. Patients there are putting their faith in a new surgery that is unquestionably radical. It involves the complete removal from the body of most of the patient's stomach. But the surgery has shown early promise, and for some patients, it could be a lifesaver. Matt Gutman has our report. I'm Melanie. I had my surgery five months ago. I had the gastric sleeve, and I've lost 83 pounds. I'm Lucy. I had surgery three and a half months ago, and I've lost 66 pounds. Hi, I'm Cindy. I lost 158 pounds in 11 months. These women are some recent success stories in the never-ending battle against obesity. They're winning that fight not through diet or exercise or even pills, but with an extreme surgery called vertical sleeve gastrectomy. This is the distal part of the stomach. Where in less than an hour, 85% of the stomach is removed permanently. Some believe these drastic operations are the only real cure to obesity. Pulling a rabbit out of the hat. That was the bulk of Holly Mathurne's stomach, who we first met the day before her operation. It's like way overdue. I mean, I've been fighting with weight since I was six years old. I've been on every diet. You name it, I've done it. And I may lose weight here and there, but then it winds up creeping back on. More than 200 pounds overweight, this 38-year-old nurse doesn't have many choices left. I don't have a whole lot of medical issues yet, but genetically, it's going to happen sooner, you know, sooner or later. Just as important to her, she can't keep up with the rest of her family. I want to take them to Disney and go on the rides with them. I've never been able to do that. She can't run, hasn't flown in decades, and knows that sooner or later that fat will kill her. Okay, so y'all want to talk about what's going to go on tomorrow? For Holly, the point of no return has arrived. I've always been on the obese side, not just carrying 20 extra, 30 extra pounds. So, yeah, it's been, it's been a long time that I've dealt with it, and I'm ready to not deal with it anymore. I'm ready to deal with some other things. First, there's the surgery to deal with. Your instruments up towards the head a little bit more so I can get this around. There you go. That's Dr. David Treen, Holly's bariatric surgeon, a preacher of the sleeve gastrectomy gospel. What kind of weight do you expect people could lose within the first, let's say, three months? Well, it varies depending upon what their weight is to start with, but it's not unusual for us to see a patient lose uh, 100 pounds in six months with this. What also goes when the stomach is removed is ghrelin, a hormone that stimulates the appetite. When we remove this part of the stomach, most of our patients tell us after surgery they're not hungry, ever. Treen advocates this surgery over traditional bariatric surgeries like lap band and gastric bypass because it's less complicated. It can be done on an outpatient basis and is more affordable. A couple of years ago, it cost $30,000. Now just around $12,000. A lot of this is about the money, right? Well, for the patients, it's a much more affordable option. Many of the patients that we see do not have insurance coverage for bariatric surgery, but they desperately need it, desperately want it. Trin won't perform this operation on the super obese, those with a body mass index of over 50. His patients with a BMI of between 40 and 50 are classified as just morbidly obese. You can't have hot dogs. Bob Brissell is one of those people. He's paying the $12,000 in cash, and for that price, he's got to be in and out of the hospital in one day. This is Gliparide for diabetes. I take one of these every morning. Accompanying him on his short hospital stay is this mountain of pill bottles, medicines he takes for diabetes, blood pressure, cholesterol, migraines, all of them side effects of his obesity. I take one to two of these, all of them every day. How many pills a day do you take, do you think? About 15. In less than three hours, Bob is in surgery. Theoretically, this 45-minute surgery should change Bob's life. Absolutely. Absolutely. He um, will probably lose 100 pounds in the first six months. His weight loss will slow down after the first six months is up. but. By that time, that big bag of medicines will probably be a very small bag of medicines. The surgery on a special bed capable of bearing 1,500 pounds of weight is remarkably neat, 
Very or little blood, probably, no yeah. gashes. And what portion is staying and what portion is going? This is the upper part of the stomach that's coming down. This is the now the sleeve part. This is the pouch. And this, all of this is coming out. Wow. So how much smaller now is Bob's stomach than it was 20 minutes ago? Uh, it has the capacity of about a plastic Easter egg. For Treen, the advances in laparoscopic technology enable him to easily perform multiple surgeries before lunch. And with about 15 million Americans described as morbidly obese, okay. there's more than enough demand. What would happen if bariatric surgery were covered by the insurance companies? If every patient who had health insurance had bariatric surgery coverage, I would probably have to hire five or six more bariatric surgeons to handle it. There's a lot of people. A line out the door. A lot of people. While the cost is in the neighborhood of about $12,000 for everything, um, the savings, it's been shown by studies that it pays for itself in about three to four years. Uh, and if patients finance it, it's like buying an inexpensive car. But this lasts a lot longer than the car does. For the rest of his life, Bob Brazil will be physically unable to consume more than two medicine cups full of food at a time. But with the ghrelin removed, he won't have the appetite he used to. You look a lot better than you did about a couple hours ago. A little bit of pain, nothing that's unbearable or anything. While the complications can include leakage or fluid escaping from the stomach, because the surgery is relatively new, long-term complications are unknown. Just over four hours later, Bob, still woozy and achy, is on his way home. But the real hard part is coming not eating, I guess. I haven't quite figured all that out yet. Slow and easy when you get up. One patient out the door, a couple of hours later, a new round of prospective patients in the door. We have an epidemic. That is the definition of a healthcare epidemic. Twice a month, David Treen offers a seminar on a surgery some now consider the best cure for the obesity epidemic. And it's not uncommon for our patients after surgery to tell us they're not hungry, ever, ever. Getting rid of 85% of your stomach may be extreme, but for more and more folks, it may be the only cure in their battle against obesity. You ready to go home? I know you said. All right. I'm Matt Gutman for Nightline in Marrero, Louisiana.